What is Midjourney? Hey! Have you heard about Midjourney? It's an AI program made by a San Francisco research lab called Midjourney, Inc. Its main gig is to create images from text prompts, kinda like Dall E and Stable Diffusion. They started their open beta on July 12, 2022, and the team is led by this guy David Holes, who also co-founded Leap Motion. The company has been working hard on improving their algorithms, and they've released a few versions already. To use Midjourney, you'll have to go through their Discord bot and type a command with a prompt. They have different subscription plans, but they used to offer a free trial. David Holes thinks artists are more like customers than rivals. They can use Midjourney to quickly prototype artistic concepts to show clients before diving into the actual work. But some artists argue that Midjourney devalues original creativity by using their work in its training set. The advertising world is also getting into AI tools like Midjourney, Doll E, and Stable Diffusion, since they can quickly create original content and brainstorm ideas. Midjourney has been featured in several publications and even stirred up a bit of controversy. Like, one time it was used to make images for an AI-generated children's book, which didn't sit well with some artists. As of now, in April 2023, Midjourney, Inc. only offers a paid subscription. They closed the free trial access because of high demand and some people abusing the trial. So, users have to pay either monthly or yearly to keep using the service. What is Stable Diffusion? Have you heard about Stable Diffusion? It's this cool deep learning model that came out in 2022, and it's all about turning text into images. It's super versatile too, as it can do other things like in-painting, out-painting, and even creating image-to-image -image translations based on text prompts. Stability AI, a startup, worked with some academic researchers and nonprofits to develop this awesome latent diffusion model, which is a type of deep generative neural network. You know what's even better? They made the code and model weights public, so anyone with a decent GPU, at least 8GB VRAM, can use it. It's a big change from previous models like Doll E and Midjourney, which were only available through cloud services. Of course, with great power comes great responsibility, so we need to be careful about how we use stable diffusion. It's important not to create images that are offensive, harmful, or misleading. But if you're interested in learning more or trying it out, you can find all the info you need on the Stability AI website. What is Doll E? Doll E is a large language model developed by OpenAI that can generate images from natural language descriptions. The name is a portmanteau of the artist Salvador Dali and the Pixar character Wally. -E. Doll E was first announced in January 2021 and was released to the public in April 2022. Doll E is trained on a massive dataset of text and images and can generate images of a wide variety of objects and scenes. For example, it can generate images of a cat wearing a hat, or a banana phone. Doll E can also generate images of objects that do not exist, such as a dog with the head of a cat. Doll E has been used for a variety of purposes, including creating art, generating product designs, and making memes. It has also been used to generate images of people and places that do not exist, which could be used for malicious purposes such as creating deepfakes. Doll E is a powerful tool that can be used for both creative and malicious purposes. It is important to be aware of the potential risks of using Doll E and to use it responsibly. What is generative AI art? Generative AI art is a type of art that is created using artificial intelligence. AI art generators use machine learning algorithms to create new images, paintings, and other works of art. These algorithms are trained on a large dataset of existing art, and they can then be used to generate new works that are similar to the ones they were trained on. Generative AI art is still in its early stages of development, but it has already produced some impressive results. Some of the most famous examples of AI art include the work of Robbie Barrett, who created a series of paintings that were inspired by the work of Vincent van Gogh. Other notable AI artists include Mario Klingman, who creates AI-generated paintings that are often based on real-world objects, and Anya Stepanenko, who creates AI-generated portraits that are based on photographs. Generative AI art has the potential to revolutionize the art world.
It can be used to create new and innovative works of art, and it can also be used to preserve and promote the work of existing artists. However, there are also some concerns about the use of AI art. Some people worry that AI art will eventually replace human-made art, and others worry that it will be used to create fake or misleading works of art. Despite these concerns, generative AI art is a powerful tool that has the potential to make a significant impact on the art world. It is a new and exciting form of art that is sure to continue to evolve in the years to come. Generative art is a type of art created with the help of an autonomous system, which can be non-human and can make decisions that an artist would usually make. This can involve algorithms, synthetic media, or even things like chemistry, biology, and robotics. The term, generative art, has been used since the 1960s, and today, it's commonly associated with computer-generated work. Generative art can take many forms, such as music, visual art, architecture, and literature. For example, in music, Johann Kernberger's Musical Dice Game from 1757 is an early example of using randomness in generative systems. In visual art, artists like Ellsworth Kelly used chance to assign colors in a grid. Some writers, like Tristan Zara and William Burroughs, introduced randomization to literature as a generative system. Generative art can also involve live coding, where artists modify the generative systems while they're running. Theories around generative art involve questions about the role of randomness, whether a machine can truly be creative, and what constitutes good generative art. The future of generative art is uncertain, but it continues to challenge traditional ideas about art and creativity.